day, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra, my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing on this rather cloudy Saturday afternoon? Are we all doing all right? Yeah? You sure? Yeah? All right, good. Glad to hear it. So this afternoon I am going to be doing my April glossy box. It has arrived, it arrived yesterday, Friday. So today I'm unboxing it. And I'm quite keen to see what we got because last month's box was really good. I was I was really impressed with last month's box. So before I open up this one, let's do a quick review of how I got on with the products from last month. So last month we got six products. First product was from uh, let's have a look. It was from um, Rituals and it was the Rituals of Secura. It was the hand wash, something I've received before, but it's always pleasant to receive anything from Rituals, to be honest, and especially the fragrance Rituals of Secura. So that's a hand wash. It was a decent sized one. I've got it in my downstairs bathroom. It's all good. It's all being used. Oh, it's like a whole group of kids walking by. I wonder if there was an event in the park. There's a whole big bunch of them just walking past. Okay, second product was from Medicate and it was a face cleanser. Again, really nice uh, face cleanser. It was um, a deluxe sample size product. I'm trying to remember if I'm using it or is it my daughter's using it? My daughter's used it because I know I've seen the... I've got the empty down here. She's used it up already. But yeah, I, I know I've used it before. That's why I was thinking, did I use it or my daughter? But it is, it's a nice cleanser. It's gentle. It's a good cleanser. As I said, my daughter's used it. It's already in my empties down here already. First, third product was from Floss. And again, it's a product I've received before. And it was a highlighter. It's like a, a creamy, powdery highlighter. Actually, I'm wearing it today. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell because my face gets oily after a while. But I did put a little bit on sort of down centre of my nose, a little bit up on my cheeks, a little bit on my cupid's bow. But yeah, I, I'm actually wearing it. So that's handy. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It wasn't intentional. But yeah, I am wearing it today. So again, product I've used. No problems at all. And the last two products I was particularly impressed with, and they were from Innocence. So it was like a hair bath, sort of a hair shampoo cleanser, and then it was the um, conditioner. So we had both of them, which was good because I always like to receive um, a shampoo and a conditioner from the same brand. So we got both of them, and I've used both of them. I actually used it on Thursday when I washed my hair on Thursday. And again, no problems with both products, really happy with it. So in effect, last month's box was pretty fabulous. Every product I would use, every product was good quality from proper brands. None of these sort of subscription box brands that are of the lower quality brushworks or anything like that. Or these dodgy brands that sort of private label, um, sort of the DLS lot. It was all decent proper brands that you can buy in retail shops or on or on um, stores online I was really happy with the products last month so that's got to be one of my favorite glossy boxes last month so I'm interested to see how this month they compare so this month I have got variation one yeah let's go let's open this up and see what we have in here I never remember how to open it it's usually got a tag thing hasn't it which we can pull along I can't see it. Right. Okay, not themed box this month. It's the traditional box. There we go. So we've got our box this month, all in pink. Pink, pink, pink. Yep. Let's go. So there should be a card in here so I can scan the card. And there it is. Um, Spring Awakening. Wasn't last month's box called Spring Awakening? I'm sure last month's box was called Spring Awakening too. But yeah, okay. Um, but it does say April and it's Spring Awakening. I'm sure last month's box was Spring Awakening. Am I going mad? Doesn't matter. As long as, the, as long as it's not the same contents. Okay, so that is the theme. Spring Awakening. Okay, this is what we've got going on here. Let's have a look. So, let's see. Right, 
Right, so a little message from the um, the board or the executive team or whatever. It says here, hey Glossies, it's April and you know what that means. New month, new pink box landing on your doorstep. We have five amazing new products for you to dive into this spring season and some ultimate beauty treats to discover. With products from the brands such as Spectrum and Peter Thomas Roth, we have every beauty delight to help you give your beauty shelf an extra special reset this season. Okay, all right, so Spectrum will be a brush. Peter Thomas Roth, the last time um, product I got from them was that sort of green gel mask thing. I haven't really used it to be honest, so let's see what we got. Uh, it says evaluate your spring skincare regime with a, with Glossy Box's curated selection of products designed to unveil luminous complexion. I keep forgetting that I'm reading so I can make the screen larger. Um, as April blooms, it's time to refresh and rejuvenate your skin after the cool winter chill. Our second edit in our spring awakening campaign, this box is sure to have you renewing that sort after glossy glow okay so it's part of a, a theme they've got going on spring awakening campaign okay um embrace the season with a carefully crafted regimen featuring gentle face masks creamy eyeshadows and lightweight face powders for a beauty routine tailored to the ultimate springtime glow let your skin blossom with glossy box this april all right so first item is from ulac ulac never heard of them before okay ulac that's this. Um, a soft sponge-like crease-free eyeshadow is infused with luxurious pearlescent pigments to deliver a veil of ultra-light versatile colours in a light reflective shimmer finish that lasts all day. Recommended retail price is £8 and this is full size. Okay so going by the colour it looks like, um, that's what it's looking like. Let me see if it's something I can open without destroying. Yes, it is. So the shade we've got is Regal, PO2 Regal. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay. Right, I can see definitely why they've gone with this product because it seems like the theme now, the trend now in makeup is is much more going away from the sort of bright colours and things that I like to wear. It's going very much more towards a single shade, very neutral but shimmery on the eyes. They're looking for more the um, the, the images I've seen people sort of presenting are sort of the, the single shade, in the beigey goldies blush rose gold sort of colors almost like a wet look very dewy almost wet looking fresh face very simplistic makeup so that's what they seem to be promoting with the i don't know what the generations are i think i'm gen x so it's the millennials maybe and the generation after them whoever they are is it gen z i don't know i don't know what they're called um but it's that sort of the younger age group they're looking for that fresh minimal makeup Still got makeup on, but very much um, neutral, looking like um, not much effort has been made to have a presentable look. So fresh, natural, still a little bit made up, but you know, so like, um, so fresh faced, you know what I mean? That kind of look, which is very much away from how sort of my generation likes to put on a bit more full beat. We like our colours, we like our brows, we like everything just you know so I can see why they've gone with this look so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that um, but it does sound interesting I might keep it actually but I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure so that's why I'm not swatching it because I'm not sure because um, this is not a colour that I haven't got in my collection and I'm still very much into I mean yes I still wear sort of I wear at least three different colours on my eyes but I do go for an understated look I must admit I mean, the palette I used today was the Wonder Beauty palette I got in my Ipsy BoxyCharm for um, March. So, you know, you, so you can see, but, hmm. but I can see where they're going with that. So, not a bad first item. Not sure if I'm going to use it though. I, I've got to think about that. Um, right, let's go. 
Right, second item. Oh, this is the this is the product I have received before, and this is from Peter Thomas Roth, um, cucumber gel mask. This ultra gentle gel helps soothe, hydrate, and detoxify the look of dry, irritated skin with botanical extracts of cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar, maple, sugarcane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe vera. Excellent for helping to calm and soothe the skin's appearance after sun exposure. Um, Peels, waxing, facials, and extractions. Recommended retail price is £10.95. £10.95 for this size? Hmm. It's a deluxe size. I'd be surprised if it's £10.95 for this size, but could well be. Um, don't think I'm going to keep this one. So this will be going in a giveaway because I have received this before. And I know where it is. It's in my bathroom. I just haven't used it. So I will put this one in a giveaway. Okay. Then we've got a product from Spectrum. So this time, this is a full size, it's an eye brush. A makeup bag must and the perfect companion for your Oulac eyeshadow. Let the soft brushes seamlessly blend eye pigments across the eye for a flawless blend whilst adding definition to the crease. So it's £8.50 for this. So is this a, a blending brush or a crease brush? So they're saying it's a shader, so which is better actually. Um, this is sealed. Oh. It's sealed. Okay, I am going to open it. I'll try and open it gently. Okay. Okay, so it's a, a large shader brush. It's almost, it's almost like a, a crease brush actually. But yeah, it's a large shader brush. Nice colour. It's like a deep blue purple. Um, it's the same um, collection as a brush we've received from Glossy Box before. It's a nice quality brush. And they're calling it yeah, Spectrum A40. Okay, So that's a good brush. Again, not sure if I'm going to keep that. I might put that in the giveaway. Not sure. Okay. I mean, again, good products. Just not sure if I'm keeping them because don't need, don't need them don't need them I'm not short on brushes <laughs> and I just did a massive blush clean brush clean the other day um, sort of two tins worth of clean brushes I mean this is one of the tins the other one's still upstairs so I washed those the other day so these are all being washed and yeah got another one upstairs as well right next product is from Isa clean eye brush cleaner Isocleans, yeah, it's got it down as a eye brush, but I think it's just Isocleans, a brush cleaner. Isocleans makeup brush cleaner is about to become an essential part of your skincare routine. Removing germs, dust, dirt, makeup, and dead skin that accumulates um, on your makeup tools in just 60 seconds. Um, right, I've received these products before and I never use them. I don't, I don't like using them. I'm very much a get my soap brushes um you, you can get these soap bars for cleaning brushes i've got two upstairs one from revolution and one from nancy and basically you just rub the brushes you bet your brush you rub your brushes in the soap bar and then you use a scrubber to scrub the brushes clean that's what i prefer to do but i suppose this could be used for sort of daily cleaning of brushes so if you just want to just do a quick little clean you can use a product like these things and you could probably spray the brush and then do that I suppose that's how it could be used I'll, I'll try using it that way because how I've tried to use it before is like spray the brushes and wash it and it hasn't done anything for me so I don't know I'll, I'll try the alternative way of just spraying the brushes and then using it in that yeah, so I mean, I've got a dirty brush here. Let me find. Um, this isn't that dirty. All the brushes now, all my brushes are fairly clean. Um, yeah, all my brushes down here are clean. Yeah, I can't even demonstrate for you because all my brushes down here are clean now. So, but yeah, that's how I'm thinking of using it. So, okay. Mm. Um, right, next. Next is a loose mineral bronzer, but well, I'm definitely not going to be using this because the bronzer for 
a universal bronzer is never going to work for my skin tone because it's going to be lighter for lighter than my skin so this is what it looks like so this is from the brand Bella Pierre oh this is a very overpriced brand this is a typical subscription box brand very over overpriced in my opinion but here we go loose mineral bronzer Bella Pierre's award-winning mineral bronzer features a silky smooth powder formula that adds a healthy sun-kissed glow to any complexion our uh, mineral bronzer is non-comedogenic, talc and paraben free and suitable for all skin types and conditions. Recommended retail price is £16.60. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to keep in this because it's obviously lighter than my skin colouring. Um, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, not, not suitable for me because it's just not my skin colour. So that's definitely going in a giveaway. Okay, that's my box this month. Right, it's a, this is a weird one because there's all the products in here. If you're like a first time subscription box person, this box will be fantastic. You will absolutely love this box because you've got a bit of makeup, skincare, you've got tools. And again, it's a nice range of products. So no complaints about that. But a lot of the products for me I've used before or tried before. And... So I think the only product that I'm sort of intrigued about really and I, I think I might keep it now um, because a lot of these products I am going to be giving away. I'm going to keep this eyeshadow from Ulat because this is new. It's a new brand to me. It's a new product for me. So I do want to try it out. So let me swatch it. So yes, yeah, so it's creamy and spongy. This is what it looks like. So this would just give a nice little shimmer for me. But yeah, you can see what I mean about that sort of glossy look, glossy wet look. That's how it would look on me. So this is something I could use as an everyday one. If I just want to do something, have a little bit of a presentable look. Ideal for when I'm working at home. So I'm definitely keeping that. The bronzing powder I am going to be putting in a giveaway. The Peter Thomas Roth gel mask. That's going in a giveaway. I am going to try using this in the alternative ways this is the iso clean brush cleaner i'm going to try using that in the other way seeing how it works with just like a quick clean and in between cleaner rather than a deep clean that i do in shriek um we've got i've done that already and then we've got the spectrum brush which i'm probably going to give away as well because i don't need it so i'm going to give that away so i'm giving away these three products yep and I'm keeping these two. So in a way, I, this box is a, a two out of five for me, but that doesn't kind of reflect the quality of the box. You know what I mean? Um, but two out of five of the products I'm going to be keeping and using. So that's my thoughts on this box. Not a bad box. Just not everything is things that I want or need. So that's not a bad thing, actually, to say that these are products that I don't want or need. Nothing that I desire. Um, so, But yeah, still a good box. But I think following after last month's box, which was like, to me, was just fantastic. This box, not so fantastic for me, but it's still a good box. Does that, does that sound fair? Yeah, I think so. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed this yet, please subscribe to my video. Um, and that's it. I've got a Glossy Box referral link down below. So if you do want to sign up for this box, it's still not too late. If you sign up now, you will get this box. If you use my referral, you'll get a discount off your first box. So that would be that be all good. That will help you out. I'm not sure what I get out of it, but you will do No, I get credits. That's what it is. I get credits. Um, so if you do sign up, you'll get a discount off your your first box and I will get credit so there you go but if you do sign up these are the products that you'll be receiving if you get variation one yeah all right guys take care thanks very much for watching I will right, we'll see you soon take care Bye.